Hello folks and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to unbox this purchase from Amazon. Yeah, I think it's going to be a surprise. I have really not a good idea what's inside. Yeah, let's see. The description was not was not too good. So I was just uh, bidding for it in the end cost me 20 euro which is not a lot because uh, at least I, I could see that the, there were a couple of processors uh, not a couple only but something like um, 20 30 which is uh, quite a good price for Opa. yes so here we go so this is uh, the inside Let's see what we can do with that. So it's quite tightly packed. Um, let's see what the content is. As I said, uh, I don't really know. And there are a couple of uh, processors. Uh, may maybe I will be, maybe I will be lucky, and I will find uh, a decent one. And look at that. This is the loot. Great. Let's sort it a little bit and. See, see what we have. Uh, so, oh, look at that. That's a, a black Pentium MMX. Really nice. Let's zoom in a little bit and see what we can find. Um, okay, some opened, open dice here and there. Another. And an X, so they have been tampered with a little bit. Oh, this looks interesting. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna check these and let's see if they have some some collector's value. Oh, look at that! This is a neat one. The uh, ESP 4400 megahertz with the Centaur logo. Yeah, some Intels, some CD ROMs. So oh, there's another one here. That looks that looks great. All right. Well, I will a little bit sort these, tidy up, and then present the results. All right. Quite an impressive result, I have to say. In total, we have. 47 CPUs here, so for 20 euro, I would say a, a, a nice price. Well, I have to say the they all are in a pretty bad shape. Some are better than others, and it's quite a great variety. You see, you have here Pentium MMX. Uh, so we are talking about here something like in 1995, 96. There's even an embedded version. What I did not have in my collection, there's a Pentium 3, two Pentium 3 mobiles here, there's a Pentium 2, a couple of newer versions from yeah, 2006, 2001, a lot of mobiles here, also newer from 2009. But the real, real great story here is I have some also embedded via processors, the via C3. I will just zoom in a little bit more. So you see here, this is the via C3, I think it's a 800 megahertz version. And what I really like is this one here. This is great. This is an Eden ESP 400, so 400 megahertz special CPU. And I have uh, now here even the 800 version, which is on a different core. Yeah, VIA is uh, still operating, but the yeah, CPU semiconductor department was sold to, to AMD. Let's see, and this is also a very nice 
CPU which I did not have in my collection. This is the Geode uh, from National Semiconductors. I have here different versions now. They have been desoldered from, from a main board. Probably, yeah, they were used in low performance computers where it was important that um, the heat dissipates easily without the heat sink. So low voltage computers. Yeah, quite an interesting result. I'm happy with it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I have this interesting version here, which is probably Probably it's a PlayStation CPU, I recognize it, I have a similar one and I thought of this because I they also I found this one here which is a saying Sony Entertainment. Yeah, this is a little bit what you can expect. I bought 140 grams of CPUs, really a, a nice summary. Well, thanks for watching.